And it was on this day that everything changed. Not really, but a, a little bit at the same time. Uh, we've moved away from Module 1, Essential Computer Concepts, and one of the things that happens is we step away from this idea of utilizing uh, multiple choice kind of homework assignments, you know, binary conversion, you know, A, B, C, D, you know, picking one, hitting some, uh, waiting for the answer. Now we're moving into something called projects. Projects. And so what this project is going to do is suddenly we're going to be given some instructions and then we're going to be told to do those instructions. So say for example, uh, your first homework assignment, module two assignment one, getting started with Microsoft Word. So this is where you'll start to see the pass or fail uh, 76 or better really start to kind of flourish and we'll start to see that in a little bit. Uh, take note you do only get three attempts at these so don't just kind of arbitrarily you know really try and work on these things. You know? So we started up. Now one thing to take note of that does not count as a submission it's not until you click that submit button right there. So you're going to see kind of uh, these steps, instructions, uh, some start files, and then where you're going to upload the file. So the first little bit, that instructions file, that download instructions, that's going to tell you what to do. You know, that's kind of important if you think about it. Well, let me go ahead and download everything else as well, just so I can have it squared away. So my start file, uh, this is how uh, Sam will check to make sure I'm you know, doing the right stuff, and then the wellness uh, logo that apparently I'm going to be using. So if we open up the first assignment, or the first section, you can see it's exactly that. It's an instructional set. There's a little bit of a blurb if you truly want to kind of understand why you're doing something. Um, it's a blurb, so... <laughs> but then we get into instructions. Now, one thing to take note of is if you don't read this, you're gonna run into problems and I'm gonna laugh at you when you send me an email so read this read it. you should pause the video right now read it so then we get into our instructions you see problem steps you got about 15 instructions your first go around now I'm gonna do a magic trick who wants to see the magic trick even with the keyboard already so you see that you have there we are, a bunch of keys on your keyboard. One of those, if you're on the, there you are, one of those is this Windows key. If I hold that Windows key and I push the left arrow, look what happens to my window. This is gonna be very nice when you're trying to do your homework assignment, as you can see, and I have to open up a second window. Oh, it's out of the way. Well, guess what? All right, hold on. Let me do it this way first. Let me find the key. And then, boom. Look at that. Now I have both of my files readily available to me and so I can work on them. And if I can see everything, let me see. Uh, change the document margins to normal. I'm just going to kind of give a brief demonstration for a second. Margins to not narrow, normal. Now I'm going to do something. I'm going to save this file. I'm going to go ahead and save this. And I'm actually going to upload it. I've only done one thing uh, right now. But I want to go ahead and just at least indicate that I'm saving this and I'm uploading it. So once you finish those instructions, you've gone through all of them, you click right here and you select to upload your file. Once you've uploaded your file, this is not telling you you got everything correct. This is not telling you that. This is just saying, yes, you did in fact not try to hack Sam. That's pretty much all it is. But one of the things you have to do is you gotta wait for a second. Come back, you know, go get a cup of coffee, go walk around your house if you're doing this at the house and not at a Starbucks. But come back and click on reports. Eventually you're gonna see, look at that, that's a, uh, report on my homework assignment that I submitted. Now, I want to click on the reports and files button right here. I click on that. You're going to see that I got a download that popped up here. This download, this report is going to tell me what I got right, what I got wrong. So if you can kind of take a look at this for a second. 
you know? Step one, yes, I did change the margin. That's the one thing I did. But I didn't change the paragraph spacing, so I only got half my points for that. I didn't do any of the other steps, so guess what? I get no points for that. And you can see it will tell me exactly what I have. So what do I do with this? Well, obviously, I take it, and then I work on my assignment. Wherever I see that I didn't have something, the entire document should have the space after paragraph removed. All right, the space paragraph removed. I can go through and I can do this and I can continue. And like I said, I get three attempts. All I got to do is get this magic number to be that. And the reason behind that is because I know some of you guys, you're not using uh, Word 2013. You might be using Word 2010 or Word 2007 or uh, LibreOffice or OpenOffice or Kingsoft Office or Google Docs. I'm doing, or you're on a Mac and not on a Windows machine. I know this sucks. I'm trying my best to make sure that you guys have what you can. So I've gone in and there are some assignments you're going to notice at least on this first one, there aren't any. Ah, there is actually. For example, 13. 13, notice how if you get it wrong, you don't lose any points. It's because, you know, there are some of you who might not have the dark blue text 2 uh, color palette on your program of choice, you know. So I'm not saying don't do that one, but, you know, if you're using, again, OpenOffice, Max, or uh, 2007 version of Word, this is to make sure that you don't, you know, fail the class arbitrarily. So I've already done this for you. Best of luck. Uh, like always, let me know if you have an issue.